Hello everyone, and welcome to the Good Game Lobby Review. With seven years of development culminating into a stunning visual world, Europa is inspired by the art direction of Studio Ghibli and puzzles and enemies from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Does Europa stand well on its own? Let's strap on our jetpack and glide into my review to find out. You're a young android named Z who awakens on the moon Europa. You find your home where your dear father has left pages from his journal to guide you. You explore a terraformed world lush with forests and open lands, all while unraveling the mystery of why you're here and the history of this once barren moon. Z glides through the world, boosting higher to reach puzzles, collectibles, and uncover what happened to the lost civilization of humans. Your father gives you hints of what happened and why no humans run this moon any longer. For fear of any spoilers, that's as far as I'll push forward. Learning how everything played out before you arrived is crucial to the storytelling. When the game begins, you have a Zephyr jetpack which functions similarly to the electricity mechanics in Tears of the Kingdom. You collect energy to increase your glide capacity. Discovering crystal formations, sometimes hidden in mechanical objects, increases your energy capacity. By the end of the game, your capacity grows to a level that makes it fun to glide higher and higher through the gorgeous scenery. Your controls are easy to use and it won't take long before you master gliding. Certain sections feature mostly linear wind tunnels where you only need to slightly move around obstacles, but at times, I wasn't even controlling it and just let it ride out on its own. It's pretty easy to work. Gliding in Europa starts off slow and you use your charge jump to mostly get around, but once you find a rhythm, it unlocks a relaxed and fluid gameplay loop. Boosting from one area to another, then pressing A to glide slightly to the next boost was a true joy at every opportunity. It gives you time to glide around and fully appreciate the meadows and mountainous views. Items are clearly marked in the world with pages from the journal that advance the story, glowing a bright golden yellow. Collectible crystals, while not essential, add an extra layer of exploration, glowing green to stand out in the environment. For those looking to have a more relaxed gameplay experience, Europa is for you. If you're looking for more of a challenging experience, then I recommend skipping it and playing something like Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild. I've already touched on the game's beautiful look and feel. It's clearly influenced by Ghibli and the open world Zelda games. At times, almost too much. That's probably my only gripe. You encounter enemies that are nearly identical to the Guardians from Zelda. When they spot you, a laser locks on, gradually building up before it shoots. Fortunately, in Europa, you can deactivate them with easily located switches, and since you don't have a health bar or die, getting hit is more of a minor convenience. Remnants of a world once inhabited by large devices and robots litter the land. Another influence is clear with the robot's design, reminiscent of Laputa, Castle in the Sky from Studio Ghibli. You use them to climb to new areas and explore around meadows. I wish those aspects felt more original rather than borrowed so closely from Zelda and Studio Ghibli. Now let's move to the soundtrack. Wow. Honestly, wow is all I want to say about the soundtrack of this game. If you could choose a musical accompaniment for gliding through a beautiful world, this is hands down the one. The arrangements throughout every biome you explore and across Europa elevate the gameplay to new levels. A few times I had goosebumps from the powerful soundtrack. This is a true hit I hope makes its way to vinyl soon. Matthew Thomason has done wonders with a style of airy soundscapes that almost felt like they were breathing in and out with the gliding mechanic. Here's an excerpt from the game I loved and I hope you enjoy. When I saw the game a few years ago, it already looked like it was near completion, as the trailer didn't seem too different from what we have today, but honestly, the game had no bugs and ran perfectly. The almost consistent 120 frames per second and above I was getting on my PC made for a truly delightful playthrough. I can tell many hours were put into optimization, and I'm keen to hear how it ran for those playing it on Steam Deck. For reference, I ran it at the highest settings between 70 to 90 frames per second on my Rogue Ally Z1 Extreme. Europa was a pleasant experience I completed in almost 3 hours, with gameplay estimated at 3 to 4. During that time, I ended up with 24 out of the 40 collectibles, and I'm assuming if you collect them all, you're likely to reach developers' described playtime of 3 to 4 hours. I enjoyed the free flow of gliding around, boosting higher and faster across the land. The puzzles were straightforward and presented no real challenge, and at one point I questioned why it wasn't more difficult or why I wasn't given a sword to deal with annoying enemies. But this game isn't about combat or challenge, it's about exploration, learning, and understanding the world around you. The world that came before you was filled with war and friction, and now the fate of humanity is in its full focus and in your hands. 
This intimate story unfolds with each page of your father's journal progressively building further and immersing you in Z's newfound world. The lush scenery of meadows sprawling with the mountainous background leads you higher and higher to reach floating lands, coupled with the world's mechanical life giving you a sense of urgency at times. The secrets you uncover by solving puzzles and exploring this open yet linear moon bring you closer to the truth. Europa is a breathtaking experience of clarity. The music playfully soars alongside your journey through the delightful scenery, and I highly recommend it. It's become one of my must-play games of 2024. Thank you for watching my review of Europa. If you like indie game reviews like this, make sure to click on the videos popping up on your left and right right now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, GG.